Hi, uh, good evening. I'm Dr. Nitin Balakrishnan. I am the Chief Medical Director of Saidi Pi Clinic and Crystal Vision Laser Center in Bombay. Uh, I'm a practicing ophthalmologist with uh, special interest in cataract and refractive surgery. And I also head the uh, ophthalmic department at Nanamari Su Super Speciality Hospital. Uh, I would be talking today on Contura, which is basically a topo guided LASIK in primary eyes. I have no financial interest in any devices or pro procedures which I would like which mention. Uh, the first question which comes up to all our minds is why customize? We've been getting excellent results with normal LASIK, but then why should one customize? The answer is very simple, one size doesn't fit all. So customization is basically the key to great results. Customization in LASIK basically can be done either through a wavefront guided LASIK or a topography guided LASIK. What happens in wavefront guided LASIK, it calculates the total aberrations and treats it on the cornea. It's centered on the pupil and the whole eye wavefront aberrations are limited to the pupillary aperture. They're, this therefore creates aberrations on the cornea to correct the aberrations within the eye. So in short, you're punishing the cornea for the mistakes of the whole eye. In a topographic eye LASIK, it calculates only the corneal aberrations. It is centered on the corneal vertex, which is especially significant in large angle kappa and it encompasses the whole cornea and makes the cornea more regular. So Contura LASIK basically is a topo guided LASIK, which is uh, from Alcon. And uh, when the US clinical trials were done, it was found that 92.6% per, per, uh, uh, of the patients had visual acuity uh, better than 20, uh, 20, could read 2020 and even better. And 31% uh, of the patients had visual acuity, which was one line better than the preoperative best corrected visual acuity. So the basic thing is 98% of these patients indicated that they could or would undergo topographic guided LASIK, that is Contura again. So basically this is done through a, a corneal topographer, that's a topolizer Wario, which collects the data and then it is sent through the Eczema laser, the EX500, and the laser software creates the best fierce fit that will allow for normalization of the cornea with the flying spot eczema laser. Uh, I'll skip through some of these slides because this is too much in detail. Uh, so basically what happens in uh, Contura planning is we need to uh, take in this a small video to show in the how the Contura planning is done. So here I would like to show that these are the Zernike polynomials which are being adjusted for the spherical aberration. So even with a zero refractive error, there are some amount of uh, aberrations which can be seen and this, these are the aberrations which are going to be corrected in addition to the uh, refractive correction. So these are some of the cases which I would like to present. This is a patient who was uh, basically a patient with a large pupil and uh, Therefore, we would expect quite a bit of corneal aberrations in this particular patient. So you could see that he had a, a trefoil sort of a, a corneal aberration. And again, this is the left eye where again a, a prominent trefoil is seen. And so this after 15 days, this was the post-operative result in this particular patient. The best part is there were no glares or halos in spite of the large pupil. This patient happened to be a stage performer who always had to perform uh, with huge amount of lights and in spite of that he was very happy without any glares or halos. Again this is the left eye picture, again a very happy patient. So Contura basically because it's customized, it's customized to the individual, it corrects not only the refractive error but it also corrects the corneal aberrations. Now what happens is if you do a normal wavefront optimized LASIK in an aberration like a trefoil, the treatment is along the line of vision and not along the vertex thereby inducing more aberrations. And if the two cylinders are not aligned, it will induce a new cylinder which is 45 degrees away. So therefore, it's important that one does a Contura or a customized LASIK in these conditions. Again, this is another one particular case where, again, you can see that there was with the zero sort of a, a modified refraction where the refraction is zero. So there is almost about 12 uh, microns of correction which is taking place. This is only to correct the corneal aberrations. The 
I'm not going into the details of how the uh, adjustment of the spherical equivalent is done, but having done all that and having undergone a, uh, a contour LASIK, there's a definite wow effect. The vision here, the uncorrected vision uh, is better than 2020. It's 20 by 15 in this particular patient. And this is the left eye, again a 20 by 15 with a definite wow effect. So in short, summarizing, I would like to say that we have found in majority of the cases, the Contura works very well. I'm skipping through the, because of paucity of time through a, a large number of uh, the slides. But so these are some of our results. Let's, let's come to that. So these are some of our results with Contura LASIK. This is with a normal wavefront optimized LASIK, where we find that uh, the best corrected visual acuity is 6 by 6 in a vast majority of the patient. But better than 6 by 6 is only about 8% of the patients with, uh, with a wavefront optimized. Con compare that with the Contura, you have a 20, 20, 10 in almost 17% of the patients and you have a, a, a 20, 15 and 81% of the patients which is a sizable amount after having undergone a Contura LASIK. This is the one month uh, uh, results where a 20, 16 is seen in 43% of the patients following a Contura LASIK. A uh, three months uh, 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 data also is similar, 48%. So as you can see that the results improve with time. As the time passes on, the results are improving. This is a six month where you almost have a 53% with a 20 by 18 uh, uh, vision and almost 98% of the patients achieve a 2020 vision. So in conclusion, a primary topo guided LASIK, that is a topo guided LASIK which is done on virgin eyes, that is Contura by the brand name, helps to correct the corneal abrasions along with the refractive correction. Post-operative uncorrected and best corrected visual acuity is better or equal to the pre-operative best corrected visual acuity. There is no loss of the best corrected visual acuity. It improves the contrast sensitivity, reduces the glares, halos and starburst. The new protocol, that is the TMR protocol, it increases the inclusion criteria for Contura and gives better results. And the most important thing, it gives a definite wow effect. In the words of Luisa Ramos, exceeding patient expectations is the expectation today. And if Coke can uh, customize bottles for the individuals, I think we as ophthalmic surgeons, it's high time that we customize our treatment, customized to the individual patient's cornea and the individual patients. Thank you for your kind attention. I can now take questions if there are any. So there's the first question which uh, asks me what are the potential benefits of topograph uh, topo guided LASIK over conventional LASIK? Well, topo guided LASIK corrects not only the refractive error, it also corrects the uh, topographic abnormalities on the cornea, the aberrations of the cornea and therefore what it gives you is a better quality of vision, the contrast is better, there are less chances of glares, halos and like, like I've shown in the slides, the number of patients with better than normal vision, better than 2020, is significantly higher than a conventional LASIK. The other question which is now put forward to me is, is there any difference in the outcomes from Contura topo guided LASIK and that of ordinary LASIK? I think I've answered that question in the talk itself as well as uh, in the uh, previous question. And the adverse effects of topographic LASIK, well, there are, there can be no procedure which is 101% safe. We need to find out whether the topographic data which is collected is of a good quality. If the topographic data is not collected of, uh, uh, by the uh, technicians uh, properly, then it's a, it's a simple thing of garbage in, garbage out because we are in the end feeding the topographic data. And if that data itself is erroneous, we can get potentially bad results. So these are some of the disadvantages. Again, a topographic Guided LASIK may not be, uh, every patient may not be uh, a suitable candidate for a topo guided LASIK. It's uh, difficult to go into all the details about the inclusion criteria within this short span of time. But then, yes, a topographic guided LASIK, when done properly with a proper patient selection, gives excellent results. Uh, the next question is, is, is Contura helpful in treating genetically inherited corneal diseases? No, definitely not. Contura is only for treatment of the refractive error uh, following uh, a LASIK. It's not meant for treating any other conditions except a refractive error. Uh, there is a question which asks me about 
my views on practicing the topographic lasik surgeries in spe in special populations like diabetic patients well if the diabetes is well controlled there is no contraindication for doing lasik at the same time there is no contraindication to do even a topographic guided lasik as far as the patient fulfills all the inclusion criteria however one should point out is the patient needs to be specially instructed that doing a lasik does not absolve him of all the other complications which diabetes can cause in the eye so the patient should be instructed that he needs to undergo his retinal examination probably once in 6 months uh, depending upon how well his diabetes is controlled but there is no special contraindication for uh, uh, doing a contura lasik in diabetic patients i think that answers all the questions which are there there are no more questions if there are no more questions i think uh, uh i'd like to thank all of you all for your kind attention thank you